Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a quick tutorial on my Thanksgiving turkey prep and this makeup look that you see right here. Please stay tuned if you want to learn a little bit more about both. So let me tell you guys that I am super duper extremely excited to be doing this video today for many reasons. My first reason being that this is my very first YouTube video that I'm posting a tutorial on so I'm so excited and thrilled to be doing this for you all. Um, my next reason is that I've worked retail for a very long time. I worked retail for maybe something like 12 years and the last 7 years I've worked every single Thanksgiving in preparing for Black Friday. So I am so happy to have some time off and be with my family so we can actually spend some time together instead of me having to do an early lunch slash breakfast almost and then run away to the store to get started and prepare for it. Also, my very next reason is that I've never done turkey before. So turkey is something that we do enjoy, but more so in sandwiches. We've always been partial or keen to chicken. So we've always done chicken and roasted it. But this time around, I decided to go ahead and get a big, heavy 18 pound turkey. We brined it and I'm stuffing it with aromatics to get the flavors and juices going. So it turned out so good and so delicious. I was so proud of myself. I couldn't believe that I actually took care of all of this by myself. And it was just a beautiful and amazing time. So I went ahead and took my big old bird and stuffed it in the oven. And it took about four hours to cook, so I definitely had some downtime to prepare some of my other side dishes. But before I got started with any of that, I went and got ready and I did my hair and makeup so I wouldn't have to worry about it when all my guests came and arrived. So I first got started with my Hourglass number 28 primer. It's winter in Chicago, so it's pretty dry and this stuff moisturizes my skin like no other better than any of my other primers so I definitely wanted to stick with that. Next I dipped into my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 230. They have two styles or two types which is or formulas which is a dewy type and a matte one. So for today's like I did a dewy one. I took one of my Morphe brushes and I just basically applied it all over my face. Um, I didn't do a super thick layer because I was going to be cooking and I didn't want my face to completely melt off. But my technique, I'm kind of like, you know, packing it into my face. Um, because I was getting ready so early on in the afternoon and we had dinner later in the evening, I didn't want my makeup to kind of just run down my face, especially popping my head into the oven and hovering over the stove, cooking mashed potatoes and all of that jazz. Next, I took my very favorite, favorite concealer. I think I've been using this since Tarte came out. It's the Maracuja. Um, creaseless concealer. <laughs> totally forgot the name of it really quickly. Um, and I'm basically applying it under my eye and dragging it down a little bit into my cheek, like the top of my cheek. Um, this is going to give me kind of a highlighted effect, but I didn't want to do too much. Next, I went over my sides of my mouth and my nose, just kind of like as insurance because I have like this weird. Um, dummy looking face that goes on over there. Uh, I use my fingertips to pat the concealer into my skin. That way it gives it like a flawless look. I didn't want to grab my beauty blender. So it works just about the same. The beauty blender is supposed to mimic your fingertips in a certain way. Uh, next I went into my NARS HD setting powder and I applied it right underneath. And I like to do this stuff like immediately after I put on the concealer because if I keep looking down and I'm working on the rest of my face, it does kind of tend to crease in my folds. Not that it's not creaseless, it's just I kind of have bags under my eyes so I have to set it in place first and foremost. Next, I took LA Girls Contour Stick. So these are a new product, relatively new, and it's in the color suede. So they're like these chubby sticks. They work really nice. You can tell that it's not super duper heavy and dark which I really like for just kind of like a natural type of contour. Um, I take one of my sibling brushes and I basically work it into my skin. Mm -hmm. 
now I dip into my ultimate favorite bronzer on the face of this planet. It's the Physician Formulas Bronze Booster. I think it's the Deluxe Edition. You can get this at any drugstore. I basically just apply it to the tops of my cheeks, like towards my ear, and kind of taper it down towards my mouth. And I get some of my temples also. Next, I dive into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I use the color Banana to just lighten up my under eye just a little bit and to kind of pack in that concealer or set that concealer in just a little bit further. I do the same with the top of my forehead and just a little bit on my chin also and a tiny bit on my nose as well. Now I just go right in into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and take the color Fawn and just really define a contour now. So before it wasn't so defined, but I need some cheekbones because my mama didn't give me any. So we're working that in there. And this part here is my ultimate favorite part of makeup, which I am putting in my highlighter. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Illuminizer, Face Illuminizer. This is my favorite highlighter at the moment. And since the summer, it's just so perfect for my skin. And I do a little bit at the top of my eyebrows, kind of on my forehead, on my chin, and then just an inty teensy weeny little bit on the tip of my nose. Next, I use NARS Orgasm Blush, and I kind of just lightly, you know, apply it to my cheeks and my apples of the cheeks, but mostly like bring it up towards my hairline again, just to kind of follow that contour and the bronzer where I had it in the first place. And then now it's time for eyes. So I dip in with my Lorac Pro Eye Primer, and I didn't want to use something really heavy and cakey, but just put that on my eyelids. And then this item here is the Milani double-ended highlighting pencil and I basically put it right under my brow line and fade it into my eye and then I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil in the color ebony I just go ahead and follow the natural line or shape of my brows and fill that in and I don't do anything really heavy or thick just because it's a family at home event and here I go into the Too Faced Holiday Edition palette from 2014 and I am applying on my brow bone the color Havana and then in here I go ahead and sweep into the crease of my eye Fond of You from that same exact palette. And I realized that I wanted more of a holiday look with a little bit of color so I put in some purple from the color BU. And then in the inner tear ducts of my eyes, I use the color Turtle Dove, just to kind of give it a small pop. And then right here on my eyelid, I glide on the color After Hours from the same palette. And then I go ahead and in the V part of my eye, I use this dark brown color called Knockout to just kind of give it a little bit of the smoky look but nothing too dramatic. I next take that same color, the purple one that I was saying which is the color BU and I put it on my lower lash line and then I go ahead and take my Sephora brand um, eyeshadow eyeliner pencil and I forgot the color name but it's a cream colored one put it in my waterline and I go ahead and pack it in with that same color that I put on my brows which was Haven just to keep it going all night long and then I get started with my eyeliner so I was really mad because I never filmed my eyeliner I am always in front of a mirror and I had to do this like with a compact in front of my hands and I ended up not getting my wings proper or even. I was really upset about it, as you can probably tell right here.
So anyways, I connected my eyeliner to the inner corner of my eye. I didn't go super heavy, but I always love wing eyeliner. That's just me. That's what I do. I can't help it at all. And then I went in with my one of my favorite lipsticks from Saleha Beauty. This is the color Crazy Love. It's like a deep bur burgundy maroon. And I totally forgot to put lip liner on. Um, I couldn't find my lip liner that I pair with this one, so I just left it behind. But just like, look at how stunning this is. And I didn't want to do a false lash, so I just went in with my Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. It's actually drying out, so I have to get a new one. But I just went and feathered it onto my lashes, both top lash and the bottom lash line. And there you have it guys, this is my completed look for my Thanksgiving dinner. I really hope you guys liked it, tell me what you think. Please like my video if you like videos like this and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment box below so that I know what you're thinking and let me know what you think of my very first video on YouTube. Also tell me if you would like for me to do more videos like this as well or uh, comment on looks that you would like for me to try. Please share with your friends and family. It will help me out a lot. I will also definitely list all the product descriptions in the description box below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for your love and support. And I will see you in my next video. So keep staying tuned. Love you guys.